as you get ready for the 2019 game developers conference in San Francisco next week. Organizers want to quickly remind you that but the game developers choice awards and the independent games festival awards will be streamed online next Wednesday, March 20th, so everyone can take part. First up, celebrated writer and narrative designer Matt Jayanth will take the stage to P A R E S E N T T H E I N D E P A N D E N T Games Festival with now in its 21st year of celebrating and honoring the work of independent game makers. Later in the evening, the same stage will welcome back Double Fine frontman Tim Schafer as he returns to host the 1-9th Annual Game Developers' Choice Awards. The premier accolades for peer recognition in the video G-A-M-E-I-N-D-U-S-T-O-Y. The ceremonies kick off at 6.30 p.m. Pacific on Wednesday, March 20th, during BD 2019 in San Francisco. As always, the IF Awards are up first, followed by the DD Awards. If you cannot attend in person, do not worry, the sequential award shows will be live streamed right here on the official GD Twitch channel Wednesday evening. It's always a fun, upbeat show, so do not miss it. More information about the 90th annual Guy Developers Choice Award and the 21 Independent Games Festival is available at their respective websites. Bring your team to GD. Register a group of 10 or more and save 10% in conference passes. Learn M-O-R-A-H-E-R-A. For more details on GDC 2000, on my team visit the show's official website, or subscribe to your regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, OS, Goddard Sutra and GD are sibling organizations, under parent company and former, over 30, 000 games have now been released on Steam, a milestone that the platform quietly crossed in the earliest days of 2019. The number was spotted by PC Gamer over the weekend, and it does not include any DLC or other non-game programs hosted on the digital distribution platform. In fact, adding DLC into the mix makes the number closer to 48. 000. An updated tally of the count can be found by searching for nothing at all on the Steam store, then narrowing down that search to include only games on opting out of any interest-based filter Steam has placed on your account. At the time of writing, that number sits at 30. That's a little bit higher than the unofficial Steam tracker Steam Spies on count of 27. 397 lifetime Steam releases. So take the third party tools numbers with a grain of salt. But, Steam Speed did once again chart year over year growth for Steam. According to the site, 329 games released on Steam in all of 2018. That's around a 300 increase from 2017. As estimated count, the Gunnar Sutri job board is the most diverse, active and established board of its kind for the video game industry. Here is just one of the many, many positions being advertised right now. Location, Pasadena, California, Industrial Toys, Creators of Midnight Star and Midnight Star, Anagate. Is ramping up to start its next adventure, and looking for new team members to help make it the best yet. Building on hard one knowledge, as an indie studio, we have joined forces with it to realize our vision of what it means to be model to the car. If you are interested in creating innovative experiences that will reach mobile players around the world, join up today. We are seeking a talented server engineer who is passionate about making great games in a fast-paced environment. You will collaborate with design and engineering peers to create new features, systems, and technology for our game. 
our high-performing, dynamic team is committed to developing our game with a player-first perspective. The ideal candidate has noble experience and a proven track record, developing scalable systems for our life services, with a new, large-scale mobile game. We are pushing the boundaries on every front, so you will get a chance to learn while you contribute. Responsibilities, qualifications, interested, apply now. Whether you are just starting out, looking for something new, or just seeing what's out there, the Garnet Sutra Job Board is the place where game developers move ahead in their careers. The more Sutra's Job Board is the most diverse, most active, and most established board of its kind in the video game industry. Serving companies of all sizes, from indie to triple, looking for a new job. Get started here. Are you a recruiter looking for talent? Post jobs here. Burning Sky Games had a great start to a new year at the music and gaming festival, Madfest. Our team kept the booth running for three days straight, allowing guests to play run away at any time of day and night. It proved an incredible experience and one we hope to do again next year. Here's what stood out to our rookie team the most. If you are going to a short event, you might be able to get away with manning the booth yourself. I know I have, and it's usually not too bad. But Madfest is not a short event. It's three days, 72 hours to be exact, during which your game could be running. Sure. You only need someone at your booth for 21 hours of that. But that's still a long time. And with as much as there is to do at Macfest, checking out other games, exploring the art vendor space, networking, and parties, just to name a few things, you will not want to just sit at your booth the whole time. You will tire yourself out. So your whole schedule will just be wake up, watch the booth, Go to bed. Repeat. And that's not good. Bring at least one other person. We had a team of fire, which also allowed us to engage more groups and take turns to save our voices. You can get by with just the basics a computer, a screen, and some controllers, but that will not attract people to your booth. You are battling against all the other teams, therefore guests. Attention. And you are only going to win if you go big. We were constrained by both a budget and whatever I could bring on the train along to get there. So we did not have a lot. But we still brought a tablecloth, a couple of standing vinyl banners, a 23 monitor, desktop speakers, and a batch of postcards and business cards. We kept things rather simple. Not having the capacity for extra chairs, much less a couch. But once we got there, we picked up some markers, sticky notes, and a board to create a makeshift graffiti wall. Just as a little something to set ourselves apart and give the guests a way to engage with us and our game. This gave our booth more verticality and brighter colors too. We now have some great goals to increase our booth presence such as a nice start screen for the game with an attract loop, and a second machine running the game, so that more people could play at once. They give you the option, so you should use it, and believe me, the guests will too. It can be scary since you are leaving all your equipment unattended, so just make sure to take proper precautions. We bought two Kensington locks to secure our laptop and monitor. If you are unsure whether your device is compatible, just click or left in the instruction manual for Kensington, Security, or Lock. You can usually also find mention of it on the product's website. Under Features or Specifications, we also bought some cable traps, but it turns out the Kensington locks would not fit through, so we did not get to use them. We'd also like to use wireless controllers, when possible. But at this time, we chose some Amazon Bus XX1 wired controllers. They are cheap, so you can get a lot. 
they do not have to be charged, and Windows supports them right out of the box. Not to mention, they are not nice enough to be worth stealing. Just make sure that, when you lock down your computer, you also disable the shortcut to open the Windows 10X app by pressing the X button. Someone did that overnight at our booth, preventing people from playing the game until I discovered it the next morning. We also did a bunch of things to make sure no one could tamper with the computer itself, like disabling the keyboard and mouse input. We used blue life key freeze for this.